Hello again, Salem. I'm your mayor, Chuck Bennett. Thanks for watching this week's video about the great things happening here at the city of Salem. We've been producing these videos since April, and we hope that you're finding the information helpful. If you watch the June 8th City Council meeting, you'll know that the city of Salem is collaborating with downtown eateries to be able to expand their dining options while still keeping to the pandemic guidelines and opening up a little creative space. On weekends starting Saturday, June 20th, State Street between Commercial and Liberty will close to vehicle traffic as part of this pilot program. Be sure to check it out and let us know what you think. You'll find all the details on the City of Salem's website and social media. By now you've heard the state of Oregon has granted Marion and Polk counties to move into phase two starting Wednesday, June 24th. And we have Salem City Manager Steve Powers here to talk with us about the city's plans for reopening. Well, Mr. City Manager, thank you very much for coming by to visit with me about uh, what's going on here in Salem as we reopen under phase two. Uh, could you kind of take us through that a little bit? Uh, it's going to be pretty exciting, I think. Be happy to, Mayor. Thanks thank for you. the opportunity. Yeah. We are focusing first on those services that have a high volume uh, of, of customers. Our, our payment center, our cashiers for utility payments, our permit application center, and our parks reservations. So those will be reopening to in-person uh, customers on July 6th. Oh, wow. When will City Council reopen? I don't mean to just talk about my stuff, but uh, when, when do you expect City Council to become a public, be back in these chambers again? With Marion and Polk counties moving to phase two, the Council can return to council meetings with up to 50 people in physical attendance. So we would be able to resume council meetings in the council chambers as as early as the July council meetings. Oh, great! So July 13th, we could see regu we could see this room full again. Up to 50 people. Wow! That is a, a phase two uh, requirement that uh, assemblies not be greater than 50 people indoors. Uh, Monday, uh, the June 22nd we're going to be passing the city budget. The city council's scheduled to pass city budget. Uh, the, there's been real interest in public comment. What, what's gonna be going on around public comment at that meeting? Yes, thank you. That was certainly a concern from, from council and, and from the community as far as being able to participate in the council meetings. And for the June 22nd meeting, there will be an opportunity for public comment uh, during uh, the council meeting instructions on how to sign up for public comment will be on the city webpage and also on the agenda that is going to be released uh, uh, later this this afternoon great and that'll most likely be online or through one of the platforms for the council meeting will be a virtual council meeting right. using okay. uh, the zoom platform so yes the uh, public comment and the public participation in a public hearing there's a public hearing on the agenda as well will be through zoom Great. When the city hall reopens, which it, it really is pretty much closed right now, our office is locked. Uh, when it reopens, how will the public health be protected? We have been using this time to modify workspaces. Yeah. We've installed plexiglass as a barrier to stop the, the spread of, of the virus. We will be uh, following social distancing, so there will be markings on, on the floors for some of our larger, higher volume services, such as the Permit Application Center. Mm -hmm. We'll have staff helping guide people and asking that they observe social distancing. Mm -hmm. And with the governor's announcement that masks will be required indoors, uh, we will be uh, requiring masks and we will have masks available for those customers who do not bring their own. Oh, great. And we will also be accommodating those who are unable to wear a mask. Right. Okay. That's great. There are, uh, I think, ultimately real questions about what comes next for some of our programs. I always think of the library, Center 50 Plus, some of those kinds. Uh, uh, I know playgrounds yeah. we're going to be see, see opening. What, what comes next? What do we After see? those first three services that I mentioned, we will be looking at municipal, we have a plan for municipal court and for the police uh, walk-in counter. Those are two other high volume 
services that we provide. The library and Center 50 Plus are more challenging. Yeah. Not only because of the vulnerable populations that both of those services uh, help uh, uh, facilities serve, uh, also because of social distancing. Yeah. So we will be looking at, have a plan to probably phase in the library where first we will be uh, providing the, the materials mm -hmm. and not providing uh, computers in order to have people come in, get materials and leave and not, and not stay to help, again, with that social distancing. Center 50 Plus, uh, similar uh, approach uh, where the services may be more, more drop-in rather than staying for, for an extended period of time. Right. Uh, we uh, encourage everyone, and it's been a phenomenal success, to uh, access our library materials online. Right. We have seen over 150% increase in our registrations for online materials. And Center 50 Plus has done a fantastic job and did so early on, the uh, first week or two of the uh, Stay Home, Save Lives, where they moved uh, programming online. Right. Fitness. Programming food became available for pickup or delivery. I mean, I, they had wellness phone calls. I, I, I hope when this is all over, I will look forward to your after action report on what the city did because it has been remarkable uh, how, how really uh, smoothly the city has run uh, you. with your and your uh, team's leadership in terms of developing what actually has been a really successful plan on how to deal with this kind of crisis. So uh, I know on behalf of the community really thank you and, and all of the 1,250 city workers, or whatever the number is right now, who, who really made this work. So really do appreciate it. Well, thank you uh, very much. Uh, I do want to just uh, emphasize one more time that we'll be uh, seeing, I believe, beginning this weekend, uh, the closure of State Street uh, in that area I mentioned earlier and a chance to visit restaurants down in our downtown area. I don't know about you, but I've been downtown over the past couple of days and it's really starting to hop. It's uh, starting to begin to feel like, uh, like it did before all of this hit at once. So thank you again, Mr. Manager, Mr. Powers. I, I just really appreciate you being here with us today. Thank you.